All right, in this short video, we're going to show you how to clean the print head on your DaVinci Mini printer. If uh, you find that it is not printing well, or that it's not printing at all, it's most likely that the print head is clogged. Fortunately, that could be easily rectified by flossing the print head. So let's show you how to do that. The first thing you do is go to filament, and you go to unload filament. Uh, then it tells you, hey, we're gonna back up, make sure that you're ready to spool it. So we do that. And you can see it's spooling, so we're just gonna wrap it up. It's also going to heat up. And yes, that noise is normal. While we're waiting, we're going to pull this, uh, the uh, white feeder tube out. And the way you do that is to push down on the top of the unit. Uh, I'm going to use this putty knife and I'm simply going to push down on the uh, black rim uh, that goes around the uh, white uh, extrusion tube, uh, feeding tube, and uh, there, then just pull it out and that's it. Now all I have to do is wait for this to finish now and there it says uh, ready on the screen so I'm simply going to click finish, yes it's done. Now I'm going to click the extruder and I'm going to click clean nozzle. Click start, and it will move the print head for you to the middle of the open space, and we can do what they call flossing. So they've provided a little, uh, I guess, metal bar, for lack of a better word, plus this ultra thin little wire to clean it out. Okay, so now that it's about 200 degrees, you can just slide this over with your hand, whichever way you are, left or right handed. And you also want to have a piece of paper just to get rid of the gum off the bottom. So in the bottom here, in this print head, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, well, through the top, we're just going to take this pin and slide this over a little bit more. And you put that in where the feeding tube goes. And you simply push down and you'll probably feel some resistance. And look, you can see some goo popping out of there. And all you do is grab it. There it is. Now, Kleenex is probably not the smartest thing to use. I should probably be using something firmer, something not to point so prone to lint, but it's what I've got handy, so that's what I'm going to use. And yeah, it is pretty hot. You will get, uh, I don't know, a burn, but you'll, you can feel it. Uh, so that's that. Now, to uh, th that won't go all the way through. It'll only get 80, well, 95% of the way through. You have to use this little wire ring. They call it a ring, even though it's not much of a ring, uh, to go into the uh, bottom of the unit. And that is quite a challenge. You want to put it right into the print, print head. And this can take you a few minutes to get through. So I'll probably speed this up. There we go. I've got the pin in. So you just floss it, as they say. So you just up and down a few times. And that's that. Now I've often gone back and used this often. I've only done this a few times, but I have each time gone back and done this again with the larger needle here. And just push down and yeah, okay, that seems clean. So once you're happy that it's clean, we need to reconnect the tube and uh, the filament and then it will extrude some plastic and then we'll know it's uh, good to go. So what I'm going to do here is click uh, finish and then I'm going to go to filament and I'm going to go to load filament. If I were to complete this process what would happen is it would spit out uh, a bunch of uh, filament uh, out of the print head and then we would be completely done. I'm not going to do that because I do want to disassemble this unit at this time. So that's it. If you have any questions please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye bye.